Teslas are amazing vehicles. Not only are they fun to drive, but they're also one of the most eco-friendly and advanced pieces of technology out there. But as with all things, there are certain things that you should never do with your Tesla vehicle. So if you'd like to know what those are, then stick around for this session of Daniel's Brew. Hey there, thanks for joining us today. For those of you returning, as you can see here, I'm filming from my kitchen, just for a little change of pace. But if you're new here and you've never seen any of my other videos, then after you finish this one, make sure you check out my other Tesla related videos by clicking here or finding the links below in the description section. All right, so let's jump in here with number one. First, never, ever, ever leave your driver's seat when you're driving in a Tesla, even if you're in autopilot mode. Confused by this statement? Well, here, take a look. In rush hour traffic, a Bay Area man is caught on video riding in the back seat of a Tesla. With no one behind the steering wheel, the car is doing all of the work in autopilot. The California Highway Patrol, not impressed with the stunt, arrested the man for reckless driving. I feel safer in the back seat than I do in the driver's seat. And I feel safer with my car on autopilot. I trust my car on autopilot more than I trust everyone on the road. 25-year-old Param Sharma says he's been riding like this for a few years. In this video shared by Sharma, you can see his Tesla driving itself at night as he relaxes in the back seat. I don't think that should be illegal because the way the car is driving is very safe. So as long as the car is safely operating, it doesn't matter what seat you're sitting in. So I can't even wrap my head around what this guy just said. I don't think it should be illegal. The way these cars are driving is very safe and it shouldn't matter what seat you're sitting in. Autopilot is not foolproof. And if some emergency situation occurred, like a car suddenly ran into you or a pedestrian jumps in front of your car, being in the back seat precludes your ability to take evasive actions, which could potentially help you avoid the situation or at least mitigate the results. Now, this guy luckily was taken into custody by the California Highway Patrol. But the crazy thing is, after a night in jail, he still doesn't think he's done anything wrong. Spent the night in jail, I got out the next morning and went home in a self-driving car. Unbelievable. So for the safety of all of us out there, please, please don't ever do this. Now at number two, you should never drive your Tesla onto a beach. As this one guy who runs the YouTube channel, Wogo Film found out. Here, take a look. Good thing all those people were there to help him out. If you wanna watch that full video, then I'll have that link below in the description section. At number three, don't let your Tesla be lifted incorrectly without utilizing the proper designated Tesla lift points. You see, in order to prevent damage to the battery underneath your Tesla vehicle, there are these designated lift points that Tesla has on the bottom of their cars. These are the only points on your vehicle where it's safe for you to anchor any type of lift apparatus. So if you decide to take your car to an automotive repair shop that's not Tesla owned or operated, just make sure that they know about these lift points. Otherwise, you might get some damage to the battery panel underneath your car. And this is clearly stated in the Tesla owner's manual as not being covered by your warranty. At number four, you should avoid handling the glass windows whenever you're closing your Tesla doors. Most cars have window frames around their glass, and so most of us who've driven other cars before our Teslas have this habit of closing the door by grabbing this area of the frame. But since the window area on a Tesla is all glass, you'll have to retrain yourself to close the door by pushing on the main body of the door instead. Doing this helps to prevent any accidental damage to the glass, the window housing, and potentially the window motors. 
And lastly, please, please don't try to put gasoline in your Tesla vehicle. Here, just take a look. So that's pretty silly. If you wanted to take a look at the whole video, then go ahead and use the link down below in the description section. <laughs> Honestly, it's pretty hilarious. But to be honest, as good citizens of the Tesla community, let's try to help people like that. You know, not everyone that drives a Tesla is super tech savvy. And even though trying to fill up a Tesla with gasoline is a pretty obvious error, let's try to help educate people like that who are unaware of those kinds of things. It's, you know, the nice thing to do. So there you have it, five things that you should never do with your Tesla. And again, for all of the clips I used in this video, you can find the full original links down below in the description section. And if you found this video entertaining, then be sure to check out the description section for more of my Tesla related content. Also, if you're looking to purchase a Tesla vehicle in the near future, then make sure you use my referral link to get a thousand free supercharger miles with your car purchase. And don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel to be notified every time I release a new video like this one. So thanks again for joining me today, and we'll see you next time on Daniel's Brew.